In this video, I'm giving you my updated, delicious, doctored yellow cake mix recipe. I have my oven preheating at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't like to use the convection for this, but you can if you want. I have the rack set in the center of the oven and I have these two cookie sheets at the bottom. I was told years ago that if you put cookie sheets down there, it helps to evenly distribute the heat. With these newer ovens, it's not necessary, but I just leave them there. You don't have to though. To make this recipe, you're going to need one cup of granulated sugar, one cup of all-purpose flour, one cup of whole milk, you can also use 2%, and I prefer to have this cold. One cup of full fat sour cream, I also like this cold because when it gets warm it gets a little soupy. Three large eggs plus one extra egg yolk, and I like these at room temperature. One box of yellow cake mix, this is 432 grams. And my favorite, Wilton Clear Vanilla, between one and three teaspoons. You can use any vanilla that you want, but I love this Wilton Clear Vanilla. So I'm going to start by adding the entire bag of the cake mix, the flour, and the sugar to the bowl and put that on low for about 10 seconds to incorporate it. And then while that is mixing, slowly add the milk to the bowl. And I mix that on low for about 15 seconds. And now I'm going to add the sour cream to the bowl and I'm going to mix this on low. I did not speed up my mixer. I sped up the video so it looks like it's beating a little faster. Now I want to add the eggs one at a time and make sure you can't see any of the egg or the yolk before you add the other one. And do that for all of the eggs. And then I'm gonna add the vanilla as well. Now I don't have a uh, scraper blade, so I like to stop and scrape down the sides and the bottom. If you have a scraper blade, you can skip this step. And then I want to stir this on like a six out of 10 for about a minute and a half to two minutes. You get the cake to rise when you use a Dr. Cake Mix by really whipping all the ingredients after they're all added together. And then when it is done mixing, look how beautiful and silky this batter looks. Now I have some cake pan grease. I have a video showing you how I make this and I will link it below. And I'm using a pastry brush to paint all on the bottom and up the sides of the pan. And then I have a flour nail or a heating core nail. I will link these in the description and I'm going to put a little bit on there and stick that in the center of the cake. It's going to help the cake bake from the center and the cake pan will bake it from the sides. And now I'm gonna fill each pan about a half to two thirds of the way full and stick those in the oven. And I'm gonna bake it for about 35 minutes and then check on it and it still isn't really done yet. And then I put it back in for another five minutes and now I'm sticking the skewer in and it looks good so I'm taking these out and you can see that it still looks like it's not done in those cracks but when I stick the skewer in it's finished so I let those cool for about five minutes I have this plastic wrap and I am flipping the cake upside down and gently wrap these don't wrap it tightly just gently wrap each layer with the plastic wrap and then I'm going to stick it in the freezer until I am ready to use it so there you go, that is my most popular flavor that I make. Uh, isn't everyone's most popular the yellow or the white cake, but anyway. Um, so I have started adding one extra egg yolk per three eggs that I use. And I say per three eggs because I have a video showing you how, you, how not to waste cake batter and I divide the recipe into thirds. That way I can use a third of the box of cake mix. So if I only have to make 12 cupcakes, I'm not gonna use an entire box of cake mix and then just get rid of the rest of that batter. And I will link that video below. But every time I use three eggs, I will add one extra egg yolk. So if I do like one and two thirds, I only use five eggs, I will still add one extra egg yolk. It's only when I double the recipe completely that I will add an extra one. So if I double it, then I'll add two extra egg yolks. And I'm rambling and I hope this makes sense, but that, that, that video will be linked in the description. And also I freeze all of my layers. It traps in the moisture and really helps to keep your cakes moist. And I had someone contact me and say that their cake was deformed after they wrapped it up. And like I said in the video, you need to wrap it up very lightly. You don't want to, if you wrap it up too tight, it's gonna misshape in the cake. So just wrap it up lightly and then store it in the freezer until you're ready to use it. You can keep it in the freezer up to six months. Well, I wouldn't say six months, I would say three months. But anyway, um, if you're gonna store it longer than a couple days, I would double or triple wrap it in that plastic wrap. And I have videos showing you how I 
freeze and thaw and fill and ice and all that and those will all be linked in the description. And lastly, most importantly, is that you bake these correctly. You do not want to over bake them because if you over bake them, they're gonna be dry. And no amount of simple syrup or anything is going to be able to save that. So like I showed in the video, when I took it out, it does split a little bit on the top and I overfill my cake pans and they always bake over the top and they split and that's just the way that I do it. If you want them to bake evenly to the top, then you could do you do you boo <laughs> but this is just the way that I like to do it and I noticed that like I showed you while it looks like the crack still was a little soft when I insert inskirt <laughs> inserted the skewer there were very few crumbs sticking to it and that's how I knew that it was done so very very important do not over bake your cakes because you want them to be moist <laughs> so I think that's it if you guys have any questions or comments leave them below and if you were enjoying my videos, I would be so grateful if you could buy me a coffee. My link is pinned in the comments below. And you can keep in touch in socials and check out my website. Everything is listed in the description. And if you want to stick around, you can watch this video next. And hit subscribe and the bell if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. And remember, it's cake. It's delicious. <laughs> Have fun. I will see you on the next one. Bye.